So this one I'm very proud of. This is our CIF championship in 1998. Uh, and then this picture right here was a team that uh, we went to Waimea in Kauai. And then this one right here, my father, who was the ultimate mentor I had, he made that for me uh, years back uh, when I first got the head coaching job. I started playing football in eighth grade, played for my junior high football team, played at Mission Viejo High School, and then went to Saddleback Junior College, and then on to San Diego State. I left San Diego because at the time San Diego was impacted job-wise. At that time, Orange County was booming population-wise, so I thought I knew somebody at Woodbridge High School, which in fact I didn't know, but talked to some people and they seemed excited that I was interested in becoming involved here, and uh, the rest is kind of history. My philosophy for coaching uh, and being an athletic director are basically the same, and, and that is we're preparing uh, our students, uh, student athletes, for life. Your motivation needs to be at an upper level. I don't care how hot it is, how cold it is, it doesn't matter. It's all about getting things done the right way. Get to that area on a nice, loud break on a break on a break! I look at it and, and it's, it's a difficult situation. Some of our uh, athletes have three and four advanced placement classes. So they have the homework for those. It, again, it prepares for life because that's time management skills. Flip, flip the formation quickly. You're not friends as far as oh, you're going to go and hang out together. Football has changed uh, drastically over the last probably five to seven years with, with the information uh, about concussions. <laughs> There's obvious concerns for that. We've become very adept at tackling drills that are no longer needed for you to even have pads. We ask more intellectually. If you don't understand what you're doing, we're going to have a lot of negative actions at the end. With all the time constraints that, that are put on you, especially during the season, you know, you get home at 6, 6.30, uh, Monday through Wednesday, and then in some Thursdays you scout your opponents. So sometimes I won't get home until 9 or 10 o'clock on that. You have to have a very understanding wife. It's hard when you're in the season and sometimes you get home and they're in bed. Sometimes you feel like um, you're giving more attention to your players than you are your own children. I, I, I think it, it's, it's the ultimate thing is if, if you could not have to say anything during a game, it would be a perfect coaching job. I would rather that my players understand the game and understand what the other team is doing so they can make adjustments. So I, I seek that as well as for them to learn from our staff the things that will make them better in their future life. Bye.